Thank you for tuning in to Anime Radio. Today I'll be talking about Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba, moving on from episode 4 to episode 5, my own still. But before I can start with the episode, I'd like to mention a few announcements. And the announcements are that, well, I'm currently in the works and the making of a Demon Slayer manga video, so yeah. And also, anime news is coming soon. It will be very, very soon. So, uh, get excited, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's begin with the episode. Episode 5, My Own Steel. When day breaks, there are only four swordsmen left standing off to the seven-day battle. The guides who greet Tanjiro and the other survivors explain the Demon Slayer Corps' system. All four are issued uniforms and Kasugai Kos as messengers, after which they must select the ore for their own Nichiren swords, or color-changing swords. After gazing hard at each lump of ore, and using his keen sense of smell, the one Tanjiro chooses is... It did leave out a tiny detail, this description. There was a fifth person, because there was a scene with this uh, man with a weird howdy, a white to pink thing, howdy, yeah. And there was a crow when he told him everything, and but the that person said it, there, there's four more of his children. That, I, I guess that means that there must have been a, another person because, well, obviously you wouldn't want to mess with him. Well, why? Because why didn't we see him? Or her? Or them? I don't know. Why didn't we see them? Because it must have been, like, uh, we didn't even see, like, a, a little fraction of them. They, we were just told in a scene there was a fifth person. But that was confusing, because wouldn't they just show it to us? At the start of the episode, we see a recap on what happened last episode. The demon, the mutated demon, was killed by Tanjiro, with Form 1 of water breathing, water surface slash, and we saw a little flashback of his past, and the reason why he's in the Wisteria Jail prison. It was over Kodaki who did it, who trapped him there. But in the flashback, it looked kind of looked like uh, he killed it, so I'm not quite sure why he's he's still alive or why he even was able to escape to the Worcester jail or who even put him there wouldn't you want to kill him that's what I think at least they they get their uniforms it's really cool well, we don't see Tanjiro's uniform but I mean come on Obviously, he wears his uh, green, black, checkered howdy, but the uniform is basically... Ah, look, uh, boom, there, picture. Uh, they pick their ore, but I would, I don't even know if that much ore is enough to, like, even make, like, a knife. That is tiny. And they are tiny. They won't be enough to <laughs> do... A sword and crows apparently can speak. They can speak. I'm guessing these crows had to go through special training. There, you know, there's not much to really describe in this episode. It happens and it's there. But near the end of the episode, we see this man, this mysterious, goofy man with a uh, what appears to be a clown mask. I and he's the swordsmith who creates Tanjiro's color-changing katana. Or Nichiren sword blade. Well, and he he comes, he gives it to him. And the reason why they have the name color-changing sword is because they change color depending on the user. But you know what else? You know what helps? Was Tanjo's sword turned into black? It's not even a color; it's a shade. So technically, it should be shade-changing sword. 
So, technicalities, technicalities. The color changing sword depicts Tanjiro being unique and uh, different to most people or because it turned black and that's not very common in Team Slayer as noted by Orokodaki and Hagenezuka but he was excited for it to turn red and that must have some like lore behind it because well obviously the the ore gets so much sunlight when when it's being formed in the earth earth so i wonder if maybe like people with yellow orange crimson red or anything related to the red color might have a stronger sword because it's like uh, related to the color of the sun maybe because red is associated with heat and so it's yellow and so is uh, orange and crimson and pink is related to love which is the heat of relationship and we can see that a lot of pink things have are, are, are unusual and more or unique and warmer hearted than a lot of people. Maybe pink has an association with the sun and red. But why was he so excited to see a red blade? Would you would think it would be common, but maybe it isn't. But maybe the color changing sword actually changes color depending on what breath style they are most dominant most mastered at so maybe there's like a a shadow breathing or like a a darkness breathing because it turned black and we don't know yet what it is i mean i've you know watched all the manga i mean i've read all the manga i've watched all the anime so i'm pretty well knowledgeable in that such but i wonder if that could be the case Obviously, I'm trying to be in a mindset where it wouldn't be too many spoilers, but obviously there has still. I wonder it could be like a shadow breathing. I mean, it's not too far-fetched because later on we see insect breathing and love breathing. It's really complicated, but that's basically the long and short of the episode. The episode ends with the crow telling Tanjiro to go northwest, northeast, to the town. Because there's been girls disappearing, obviously it must be some sort of perv. And maybe this is gonna be the first instance of us seeing a blood demon up. Then the episode ends, which means this is the end of the episode for me. Again, I would like to say that I am creating a Demon Slayer manga video, obviously I've read it, so I've finished a part of the video, and I, I'm in the works, in the making of something special for one of our, well, the other producer, creator of anime radio, Attilio, because on the 25th of June, it's going to be his birthday. So all give some love to him. We are also in the making of anime news. So if anyone wants to join that live stream, like anyone literally, then feel free to join. That's all for me. So thank you for tuning in to Anime Radio. And we hope for you to join us in our next video. Thank you and goodbye.